rush jobs don't go well. They just don't. Not in my case. There's no room for error and the reward for doing it faster does not match the risk of something happening on the other side. After I helped remake the Oscar, and I have to give credit to Konstantin. Konstantin worked on that with me. This was my job to win on, MTV Award. It weighed 11 pounds. At the time, I think he said it cost 20 or $30,000 a pound to send something into space as extra cargo. I don't remember the numbers. I just remember they were substantial. His thing was make the MTV Moon Man look exactly the same, but weigh a lot less. You have three days. So I was like, oh shit. So to me, it was no problem. I was going to make a mold of all the components. It was four or five different components. And then I was going to cast a, a thin resin shell and then fill it with expandable foam and then paint the surfaces and then bada bing, bada boom. The thing was, is as I was doing that, separating the model or something, I took a razor knife and I filleted my thumb. I just slipped back a piece of my thumb and I was like, damn it. And I just remember holding it like this. I'm like, this needs stitches. So I had to go to the hospital. I got stitches. I didn't know what they do is they lift it up and then they shoot a shot under the I was like oh my god but the whole time I'm thinking I'm gonna miss this three-day window here's why the deadline mattered I had a courier coming to pick up the trophy at my place who was physically gonna get on a plane and fly to Moscow I have had the pressure already at 26 where architects were flying in for review of a monument restoration I've had mayoral presentations on TV to be accounted for but I've never been late for a launch so I'm a little nervous about this and I'm like oh my boo-boo thumb you know why 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 so I called my buddy Dave I'm like this is the weekend you know we had they give it to us Friday I was supposed to give it to him Monday I said Dave I effed up my thumb I said I need your help to, to do this I'll, I'll walk you through it but you know please please so David used to work with me and he came back and he's like oh this will be fun we did everything correctly and it actually went well minus the the thumb cutting and I think we got it to weigh 10 ounces now I was all excited for this to go up in this space sadly I don't think that's what happened because at the last minute they said you know what NASA's asking for the MSDS material safety data sheet but they wanted the technical the technical data sheet of whatever I built it with the plastic and the foam. And it turns out, no one told me this, but I suspect that that killed it from going on the shuttle at all because I used expandable urethane foam. I didn't use any fire retardant materials. Nobody told me to do that. And I clearly did not have the wherewithal. To so I have a feeling that they ended up launching the real one at great expense because they did have the presentation from the space shuttle about the moon man. So I guess I did miss the launch, but it wasn't my fault. Anyways, RS Owens was very gracious with me. I charged heavier for that job. I think it actually covered my hospital bill. <laughs> so it's a win i don't know this moral kept repeating itself as a as a fabricator what i learned is that rush jobs don't go well they just don't not in my case there's no room for error and the reward for doing it faster does not match the risk of something happening on the other side in my instance it was getting hurt but not badly people will ask you to do a job rush but they expect the same quality as if you had all the time to do it i'm like you build a house really fast or you cut hair really fast anything really fast it's not going to be as good typically it's a myth rush charges nobody wants to pay the 100 plus percent that it takes but if you think about it a rush job i had to call in another person to help me finish the job i had to pay that person i had to buy a lot more materials i had to go get the materials because shipping wasn't going to happen everything is accelerated and everything is at risk along the way i guess that's the film industry but that's why i stayed out out of the film industry. Although I did get involved in the John Hughes picture one time. Maybe I should tell that story.